What's up guys, TFRL WCMX here. I'm all about WCMX, sustainability, accessibility, and living a healthy lifestyle. Any of that interests you, hit the subscribe button right now. Uh, coming at you live with a quick pup date. Pup date? Pup date? <laughs> Coming at you live with a quick pup update on my puppy, Prairie, as many of you may know. And if you don't know, um, I am currently training a nine and a half week old AKC Golden Retriever to be my mobility assistance service dog. Um, she's a service dog in training. She's been to work a few times now. She even got complimented by one of the Walmart managers for how well behaved she was. So she's going to be a great working buddy. Um, Right now, I let her ride on my lap because she's not really comfortable on the leash just yet, so me being in my chair and trying to control her on the leash isn't perfect right now at nine weeks old, but um, she's quiet and she sits there and in her work shirt and um, she even got her service dog tag today, so that is the pup date. And um, I also, I have to sneeze. Okay, so this is a different kind of video. Focus. Focus on me, camera. I don't even know if it's on the right setting. Oh, it's not on the right setting. One sec. There we go. That should focus a little better now. Um, but pretty much I'm coming to you today to talk to you kind of about a serious issue, but I also want to spread the word so maybe I could help other people who are encountering the same thing in their life or the same issues as I'm about to talk about. Um, Recently, my son Aiden was diagnosed with sensory processing disorder, which I'm not good at explaining it, so I'm just going to read the gist of what it is. Um, sensory processing disorder is characterized by significant problems in organizing sensation coming from the body and the environment and is manifested by difficulties in, per in the performance in one or more of the main areas of life, productivity, leisure and play, or activities of daily living. Um, so pretty much what this is saying is like, uh, to give examples, like some kids, some people will experience motion sickness while riding in a car, uh, have difficulty holding on to a pen to write so then they have sloppy handwriting, um, fabrics can be itchy or like specific things they don't want to wear and stuff like that. So pretty much how we discovered this was, um, my son was having a lot of tantrums and he was having a really hard time and that just kept going on over the years and we knew he was ADHD and we knew he was dyslexic. Um, that is why we unschool. So if you don't know what unschooling is, it's pretty much your child picks their curriculum and you work based on their needs and obviously teach them all the essentials just like any other person that has the, has the luxury of an education. Um, but anyways, so we were cracking down on discipline, he's been grounded, this and that, and nothing was really working, nothing was changing. He was only exploding more and nothing we were doing, you know, getting him involved in activities, having him play with kids, nothing was actually helping him at all. So we were trying everything, watching Super Nanny, doing anything that Super Nanny would do, you know, all that type of stuff. Like, it was extreme to the point where we changed around his whole room, we cleared out all the toys to try to make it, you know, a better environment. So I'm gonna just kind of give you guys a basic tour of his room and then tell you what we're gonna do. All right, so when you come into my son's room, it looks like this. Right now there is laundry on his bed, but he's got his bed here and lamp, a few wall decorations, memorabilia, and then over there is like his science lab. You can see his lab coat there, uh, Lego table, bookshelf, and his closet. So it looks pretty busy in here. Honestly, um, I wouldn't have a problem because everything's in order and makes sense. Um, but based on his needs, this is not really gonna work out. Okay, so basically, what ended up happening was we um, asked my in-laws if they could hang out with him for a week um, so we could get our minds in order here. Our Florida vacation wasn't really a vacation for us because because of SPD, Aiden was having a ton of issues. So, um, so he is at his grandparents, like I've already said. And in the meantime, we decided to kind of revamp his room and set up some sensory 
sensitive items. Um, for example, a new rug. You know, this is like uh, very soft. You can see it almost. Ooh. <laughs> it is a super soft rug um, that we're not even going to put on the floor probably. We're going to put it, hang it on the wall. Um, literally what ended up happening was I just got down to googling and figuring out what his needs were because all of a sudden he started this repetitive pattern like create a fight you know not create a fight but an interaction with us like no he's not going to do something we're asking him to do you know very defiant gets worse you try to put him in timeout he's knocking over recycling bins stuff like that like it's getting extreme you know so once it gets to this high level and he finally gets into his room because he'll never want he never wants to go to his room so when we tried you know we send him to his room he finally goes then he's always rolling himself in blankets so if this is a pattern that your child you know or someone you know does when they're upset and then they comfort themselves by being in a tight space or something that that is a sign of SPD um, let me grab the other thing that we have here and then I'm waiting on the last package of stuff to arrive to show you guys what else we got Watch out, Jim. Beep, beep. So this is another sensory item that we scooped up. It's one of those sequin um, pillows, you know, that you can change the colors on. I don't know if they have these everywhere, but in the United States, this is a hot commodity right now. Everyone's loving it. So um, you can do stuff like make a letter A for his name, you know, or something like that. So it's kind of cool, and you can just erase it and do whatever you want, turn it gold or navy. Um, pretty fun to play with. So we got more sensory stuff like that coming, um, and I can't wait to show you guys, so keep on watching, please, because I hope I can help a few of you uh, self-diagnose or help your doctor come to a diagnosis if you're children or like I said someone you know is having trouble so let's get it guys alright guys this is the new and improved room um, for sensory sensitive children or adults like mine. We have this cool hanging uh, hammock chair. Shout out to my dad for installing that for him. Uh, right now he just has some stuff on his table because um, he got mail and stuff while he was gone. His desk is all organized. He has a binder there with paper in it um, for doing his writing or whatever. And then hang on before I go over there. This is uh, one of the softest, it's literally so soft, and then he got his cool sequin pillow. He has his favorite blanket and his favorite buddy with him, so I don't have those out right now. And then here's his new zen shelf, so we have a few simple, okay, so we have a few simple toys down there, his wand and one of those cool bowls and a little coral and Yoda. This shelf, we have this really amazing book, I Am Peace, a book of mindfulness, and a bag full of sensory toys. And then this is going to be his photo shelf. Um, we need to get a few more printed. Of course he has a Mercedes right there. A few stones, his papa, his wax melt. And then... I got his closet revamped um, to uh, fit with the room. So let me show you what's in this sensory toy pack. Bunch of stuff. All right, so first thing is one of these very cool bubbly things. Hang on, doesn't want to focus. So that's cool. And 
And then we have these little clicky snake things that you can turn into different shapes or whatever. A few of those. A few of these squishy, uh, they're squishy light bulbs, which is pretty cool. Come on. You can take it out of the package once you want to use it. So that's cool. <clears throat> we got this, this cool clicky thing. You can just change it into folds all these different ways. So that's cool. We have these which have little marbles in them that you do that. Push the marble through. These. These are like slimy things. A uh, little keychain. I literally just dropped it in my glass. Um, Rubik's Cube. And these are so cool. They're little pea pods. So that's entertaining. So that's the bag of sensory toys and that's the room tour guys we'll see him when he gets home he's gonna be home any minute and then we'll get his reaction see your room till mom comes in too but how's your drive great where'd you guys go It's a moose. No, it's full. Let's see. Oh, yeah. It's stable, right? Yep. Nice. Me and Mom sat in it. <laughs> you must weigh more than me. Why well, maybe you weigh more than you? The, the scale of ground said I was 200. 239 pounds. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that's true. I think the scale is just lying. This is fun. Look at this. That. Hmm. What? You got the gold one. Yep. What? I thought you got the plain old silver one. I can feel this. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Memories. Got a new book there. And then that is a bunch of sensory toys, so when you're feeling upset, you can come and like play with this stuff. So that you squeeze the marble from side to side. Squeeze it down. Cool. Yeah, that has little pea pods you squeeze out. <laughs> well, that's nice. How does this do? Alright, guys, well, he likes it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the tour and enjoyed watching. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. If you have any questions on sensory processing disorder, you can Google it. 
or ask me about SPD. He's checking everything out. Don't forget what I say, guys. Stay positive. Keep rolling. Remember that I love you, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Skirt.